Mandy Patinkin plays a leading role in the television series Homeland, which is about to return for its final season on Showtime, a Viacom CBS channel. A pro in every sense, Patinkin rarely holds back, as you can see in our Sunday profile from Holly Williams. These are my friends. I work with them. I don't know their names. <laughs> I'm Mandy's stunt double. Mandy Patinkin is in his element. Look, I am. Action. On the set of Homeland, where for seven seasons he's played Saul Berenson, CIA agent, and calm in the eye of the storm. Saul, please. There isn't anything to say. I'm just making sure we don't get hit again. Well, I'm glad someone's looking out for the country, Kerry. We joined Patinkin on location for the eighth and final season of the hit series. In between and, uh, takes, the 67-year-old actor walked us then, through uh, this recreated world of espionage and politics. In the Oval Office. His life right now, he told us, a little dark in here, but, uh, is about as good as it gets. I'm not crazy about the Achilles and the knees, you know, the hair falling out and all the rest of the fun, but I love getting older. The wisdom. The wisdom and the calming. I once watched an interview that I did with my wife, and I went, oh, my God, I'm unbearable to listen to. The intensity is just like, why do they even let me on these shows? And, and so I've tried to temper it, but it's hopeless, as you've seen. No, don't. <laughs> I mean, the intensity is wonderful. I'm just who I am. I've lost the one girl that I've ever loved, that I'll ever love. You want to sit here and argue? In the industry, the Chicago native is known for his towering talent and passionate performances. He won a Tony Award for his performance in Evita on Broadway in 1979 and stole the show in one of his first movie roles. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Inigo Montoya in The Princess Bride. Don't say that! singer, he's won a Grammy and is currently wrapping up a 30-city tour. But Patinkin has also earned a reputation as hard to handle. I will not back off. Cast in the series Chicago Hope, he abruptly left his Emmy-winning role midway through its second season. I'd like to be alone. And on the show Criminal Minds, he broke his contract because, he said, its violent content was destructive to his soul. You've been quite open about being very difficult to work with when you were younger. I'm not anymore. <laughs> but I was. But not, not many people would cop to that, but you've been very candid about it. The greatest moments of your life are the most difficult ones. That's the only time you learn. You know, you're going to bang your head against the wall. That's a gift to you. So when was that moment for you? Wait a couple minutes. It'll happen again. <laughs> it never will end. Well, but it, was there I, a big I, moment? I, 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 there was. Let me think. And because he's Mandy Patinkin, we gave him as long as he needed. As the cameras rolled and we waited. A rare moment of this exuberant actor being very quiet. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry to say that there were many moments in my past, moments of struggle, moments of, of panic, moments of fear. And, and at one moment, eight years ago, this show Homeland came, at a time after I'd left the business, essentially. Had you left it? O almost. I mean, I walked away from a show and broke a contract. You don't do that. But the producers of Homeland decided Patinkin was worth taking a gamble on, and it's paid off with a series that's captured the zeitgeist. The show has also been criticised for its portrayal of Muslims. 
These are some of the most beautiful people in the world. You know, the Patinkin the is the sensitive to it, and perhaps especially so this season, which is being filmed in Morocco, a majority Islamic country. People of the Islam faith have felt concerned about being presented as a bad guy. How would I feel if every bad guy was a Jew? Not good. But this show has been criticised for that. Yes, it has. You know, for portraying Muslims as somehow inherently violent. It's a concern of mine too, and all the writers. We have tried to address it. You've tried to self-correct. We've tried. Well, it, it's a tricky business. The issues today involve individuals, where, you know, that are uh, of the Muslim faith. Some of those people are also considered terrorists. I'm very concerned about anybody whose feelings are hurt. And I apologize to them. It is not our intention. Homeland also portrays the United States with a critical eye. America despises what it cannot understand. This show shows America in a very imperfect light. But Saul still believes that America is worth fighting for. What is it about America that he thinks is worth fighting for? The possibility that they will open their arms of welcome to people all over the world that need a new beginning. Patinkin's grandparents needed a new beginning when they arrived in the US in the early 1900s. They were Jewish refugees, and he worries that if they'd arrived today, they might not be let in. Grandpa Max used to say in Yiddish, a redl tzadredlach, which means the wheel is always turning. So if you're on top, a redl tzadredlach, you will be on the bottom. Maybe one day back on top again. You're a human being. And human beings make mistakes, and one of them right now is to forget human kindness toward those that are desperately seeking refuge, medical care, kindness. <laughs> Grandfather. Grandfather. Mandy Patinkin feels so passionately about refugees that he signed up as an ambassador for the International Rescue Committee, an organization that helps people displaced by humanitarian crises. Give me some bag, give me some and that's how we ended up in Jordan this past summer, visiting Syrian refugees with him and his wife, actor and writer Catherine Grody. If you're wondering how I got to be whatever is okay about me, this is it. She's everything that's okay about you. Everything that's not okay, quite. nothing that's not okay. <laughs> and what is your name? My name is Ryan. The couple spent three days visiting with Syrian women and children mostly in dusty, overcrowded refugee camps. The International Rescue Committee is trying to help them build new lives with health centres, <laughs> schools for children and training programs for women. Have you seen him on television? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? I like this one. <laughs> Patinkin started this work around five years ago, when hundreds of thousands of refugees flooded into Europe. How are you? My heart broke. I remember I called Kath and I said, those are our families. This is Grandma Masha and Grandpa Max and Grandma Celia. And, and I just want to be with those people and walk with them and give them water and hold their hand. When he went to the Syrian border to look across the frontier at a country torn apart by a bloody civil war, his feelings boiled over. And right over there, bombs explode and lives are lost and people are displaced and homeless and begging countries to give them a new beginning. Why is that the way this world is going? His role as an ambassador is intense. Action. And the role of Saul, he says, has taken him to some dark places in recent wow. years. When he's finished with Homeland, he wouldn't mind doing some comedy. When this is over, if I act again, it will be something funny. <laughs> Remember, you can reach me at 412-379-6044. Whatever he does, he'll do it Mandy Patinkin style. All passion, no pretense. Do you ever switch off? When I'm finished, it's like the, somebody pulls a light plug out of, the, out of the socket. It's just, it goes from 100 miles an hour to minus zero. The batteries run out. It's absolutely out. I got to lay down, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna pass out. It does look like it's exhausting to be Mandy Patinkin. It is. You got that right. <laughs>